Hi everyone, I'm Kimberly Fessel, and today I'll be showing you how to add a baseline to your Matplotlib figures. So I'll start off coding by importing PyPlot as well as NumPy, and then I'm just going to create some X and Y data that I could later plot. Given this figure of a sine wave, let's go ahead and add a horizontal line to this plot. To do that, I just reference the PyPlot module and reference this axHLine function. If I don't supply any input here, this function will assume I want a line at y equals 0. But let's go ahead and move that horizontal line up to y equals 2, and so I'll just pass in the number 2 into this function. So of course, we can also draw vertical lines. We'll just reference the PyPlot module and then write axVLine, and we'll just supply that we want a line at x equals 5. There are two other arguments that control where this vertical line will appear on the plot. So y min and y max have default values of 0 and 1 respectively. 0 maps to the bottom of the figure, while 1 maps to the top. So if we reduce these down to 0.2 to 0.8, now we're actually just plotting a vertical line across the middle 60% of our figure. A vertical or horizontal line can help serve as a baseline on your Matplotlib figure, which can really help out with data storytelling. For example, if you have a set of student grades, maybe you want to use a baseline to show the maximum possible grade. Or you might want to use a baseline to demonstrate the mean or median for your data set. In the baseline figures I just showed you, I did quite a bit of styling for those baselines to show up appropriately. So here are some of my very favorite styling properties. So AxHLine and AxVLine both inherit properties from Matplotlib's Line 2D. So you can check out the docs if you want to see more options, but let me just show you some of my favorite properties. First of all, we can change the color of this line by just referencing the color property. And then we can pass in whatever Matplotlib color we'd like. So here we'll change this to a nice orange-red shade. If you'd like that line to appear thicker, you can reference this line width property, or LW for short. One is the default LW value, but we can increase this to make a thicker line if we'd like. We can also change the style of our line by referencing LS, which stands for line style, and then we just pass in a string representing the type of line we'd like to draw. So let's switch over to this nice dashed line. Another property that I use pretty frequently is called Z order. So Z order basically just tells Matplotlib what order you would like those layers to be plotted. So right now you'll see that my orange baseline is on top of my sine wave, but I can change this if I'd like. So right now the default Z order value is one for both of these lines, but let's increase Z order to be two for our sine wave and continue setting Z order to be one for that baseline. Now you'll see that the sine wave has been plotted on top of the baseline. You can tell that because the blue line is now on top of the orange. So lines with smaller Z order values will appear toward the background and larger values will appear toward the foreground. So as we are adding more and more lines to our figures, we may want to also add in a legend. But if we do this directly, you'll see Matplotlib gives us an error. It does not know what those lines should be called. So we need to label them. We do this with this label property. And first off, I'll just label the sine wave and then I'll label the baseline. Now you'll see both sine wave and baseline show up in my legend. So thanks for joining me to learn about adding lines to your Matplotlib figures. Adding in a baseline can really help your audience understand your data faster, which leads to better data communication. I'll put all the code I demoed up on my GitHub page, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll see you in the next one.